Hi, today I want to talk about two topics and the first one is related to this one-liner game basic which I covered some time ago on my channel and today I want to show you a little bit different version of this game um, which is kind of hybrid between this and 10 print racer game made by Robin here also in basic and this game is still one-liner game so you don't expect much of it but it's kind of cool so let me show you the code Okay, so this is a code, like I said, it's still one-liner game, so maximum 80 characters. And let me um, show you how this game looks like, and then we'll go back to, to this code and I will um, explain it step by step. Okay, this is our code. Let's list it. Okay, it's all there. So before I run the game, um, I will clear the screen because it's kind of sensitive to other characters so yeah let's run it uh, it's still number one for left and number nine for the right movement so yeah let's go oh and here we go we are racing and you can see our track on the screen And you, of course, need to stay inside the track. If you collide, then it's game over, of course. Yeah, like, like so. And that's it, that's the whole game. <laughs> but still, it's kind of racer game, so yeah. Okay, so what I did, I just removed the abbreviations from this first line and uh, print the full command so that you can see um, what they are. And now what I'm going to do is split this into several lines so that is much easier to follow and to see what's going on here. Okay, so this first line, this x value, is the value that we use to move the track around the screen. So we move it a little bit left, a little bit right, and this random uh, command uh, multiply by 2 minus 1 will give us uh, something about minus 1 or 0 or 1. So that means that track either goes a little one by one uh, position to the left or one by one to the right or it stays as it is and then this line here actually pr prints out the uh, track and the way how we do that is um, we use the space command where we use this variable x so 16 plus x and then we have this number one and then again we have three spaces print and the, uh, and again number one so these ones are actually the borders of our track and the way the reason why i use the numbers instead of some characters which would be more appropriate it simply it wouldn't fit the 80 characters so i need to think of something so if i want to print the character i would do something like this which is much prettier but takes takes more place and uh, yeah so the quick dirty solution was just to use the numbers and number one is kind of straight so yeah okay so get k uh, is um, try to get the key that we pressed on the keyboard and again like uh, last time this is a line where we uh, move a player or in this case the car in case that we press um, number one and then the car will go to the left and in case that we press number nine the car will go to the right and then we just um, poke a position our car at that new position and then the last line is just checking did we hit anything um, or it just empty empty place so is it space or 
or it's some character that we hit in case we didn't hit the, any character we are go going to um, line number zero which is beginning here and in case that we actually hit something we just end the program so yeah that's it that's kind of it so yeah that's the whole that the whole code um, this code does have a bit of a problem and it's all related to this section here and here you see there is possibility that this um, 16 plus x goes to negative that means that our track is hitting the left border of of, of a screen and uh, automatically the space command will I will return uh, error and there are ways I know how to solve this uh, but again there is no enough space to solve it so if you know any kind of good solution for this you can leave a comment down below and um, maybe someone has some better idea how to solve it the idea is uh, that we ba, 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 whatever we do we can oops, take this as absolute value and this will solve the problem but there are no room anymore to fit any more commands in, inside this so perhaps this approach is um incorrect maybe there is some better way to do it this to generate the track on the screen in sm small smaller space i try i didn't i didn't come up with anything clever now topic number two so the second thing that i wanted to talk about is this vintage computing christmas challenge 2022 now this is the second year of this challenge and this year task is to create this lovely christmas star and you can use any language that you like or prefer as long as it is related to vintage computers and vintage computing um, and there are no strict rules the whole idea of this um, challenge is to create this uh, star in smallest amount of code but also the most important thing is just to have fun and this is exactly what it says right here so the whole idea is not to compete, but to have fun, to create something um, that is interesting and submitted here. But also what's um, even more fun is if, if you don't want to create that star, that's fine. There is also a second category. It's called wild category. And here you can submit whatever you like as long as it is related to Christmas. So the Christmas theme here in this category there are no absolutely no rules at all um you can use any language that you like and the whole idea is just to have fun and i did submit something in this wild category uh unfortunately i cannot tell you what it is because there is just one kind of a rule and it says do not reveal the code or even the exact size of the code to anyone and this shall be a personal challenge. So it's not like strict rule, but it's again, challenge. So yeah, I will try to obey that. Um, also, there is a section here which explains how to do a submission. It's very nice to explain uh, in details. And there is also a template uh, how to describe your code, your program. Um, there is also a sample code for the main task. So so to create this lovely star and there is a deadline for submissions and that is until saturday 26 so there is enough time if you want uh, to make your submission and um, uh, participate in this challenge uh, christmas challenge 2022 and if you're interested to see the competition from the last year you can uh, check it out here in this menu, compo menu, there is Vintage Computer Christmas Challenge 2021. If we open that, we can see they did add a little bit different task. They need to create a Christmas tree. But what's most important, we can see the solutions here of participants. We, we can check it out in this uh, video on YouTube. Uh, but also you can check it out, all the code, download the code, 
uh, play with the code that there is uh, some very interesting solutions um, that was submitted to create this uh, lovely Christmas tree. However, I'm, I'm totally excited about this challenge and I'm uh, looking forward to see the results for this year. So yeah, that's all for me in this video and until next time, goodbye.